Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton at markrushtongallery.com. And it's, oh, it's printing. It's printing. It is, uh, what is it, Wednesday, August 30th, 2023. And I did not want to do anything tonight. And yet here I am, persevering. I did want to do something, but I, it, 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 it. I'll explain here in a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's one of my photos. I'm going to shut off the thermal ribbon printer there. That's good. Look at that. Just I beautiful mess. So this is, I'm going to do another version of the, uh, the barbershop pick. So. A couple months ago, I was in the barber shop, and this uh, little boy was in there. He's probably like five or six, and the the barber had to run out to the parking lot for a minute, and so the kid was left in the chair, and Dad's over here, you know. But I was like, "Oh, this is like," I was like looking at my phone, and I thought, "That's that's 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 a pretty good shot there." So uh, anyway, so last night uh, I had a really, really, really hard time. I had a really hard time comments already i i'm how are how are you i'm i'm lucky to be here as far as uh just making art tonight i'm lucky to just be showing up so happy to show up and see what i can do now so last night i had a really really this one had a hard birth i had a hard time and then ultimately i just threw a lot of white noise at it there and i, I it's great but um, I wanted to do another version of it. And the great thing about um, printing on... Boy, there's a lot of paint there. Okay. So the great thing about the thermal ribbon printer is I can just make endless copies as long as I keep the same sort of... Um, Uh, rendering there as far as the you know the line drawing in the software so as long as i have that there it's just it's like endless copies endless variations and so i this is great i love this but i wanted to make this a little bit different color and then i wanted to make this more like a meringue see this is this is like cloudy foggy shoegazy and I wanted it to be even thicker uh, with the paint. And so I thought, well, let's 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 try it. Let's try it, you know. I'm I'm in an experimental mode. The other thing that I'm doing is I'm getting low on my uh my paper here. This just this is a spun bonded olefin. Also it's also known as Tyvek sheets. I've been painting on it for uh for more than 30 years. And uh I'm going to order them from a place I've been ordering them for a while out of Kansas City. And uh, I'm ordering a thousand sheets, which is, this is not cheap. It's not, not super expensive, but that's, it's quite a commitment on my part to, to order a thousand sheets because, you know, when I, print one i well first of all i have to cut these down to a4 size i've got a uh uh paper cutter over there uh and then i've got extra ribbons here and so it's just like i'm committed to this format just love it absolutely love it here and i you know this is something that i've developed over 30 years is that i've come to this right i've arrived at this destination here so on the previous one here, he kind of had like a blue. It was blue. But I'm thinking about making it like a different color. I'm thinking about making it orange. And then I'm thinking about sort of blocking out. See how like I had this sort of orange and blue and yellow. I'm going to block it out. And then I'm going to meringue it. So let's get right into it and of course 
when I say orange, I mean flame orange, which is my favorite orange as far as acrylic inks are concerned. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. And we're only going to use a little bit of that there. Now, outside of this, we're going to go with, uh, block it out here. I'm just going to try to see, I'm not like in a, I'm not in a race or anything like that, but I'm just like, let's, let's see. I'm not, and I'm not trying to replicate everything but i'm you know, kind of you know kind of replicating it and uh so what i want is i want big blocks of color here all right and we'll do a little blue up here Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a crazy day. Crazy, crazy day. A good day. Good day as far as work was concerned, and it was a good day as far as uh, a lot of yellow over here. But, you know, something arrived in the mail, and it was... You know, it met my expectations, but it's never, it's never good. But I'm over with, I'm done with that part now. Done with that part now. So we're good. We're good. I think that yellow is just perfectly fine there. Now I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of this here. So I got to block this out. Uh, blue floor, blue floor, sepia floor. Do a sepia. How about burnt umber? No, we're going to do sepia. Do a sepia floor. And uh, sorry about that. I don't know where the half of this is just like me talking or or what, but. Man, I just, I, I was not in the mood, not in the mood for doing this sort of stuff. What are we going to do over here? Is this going to be like green? Maybe we just do yellow all the way over. Let's do yellow all the way over. Let's just do that. We'll leave the kid's head black and white unless of course i make a mistake what did i do last time oh i did do that you know what let's put a little bit of a little dabble do ya there we go all right all right, got sort of the basics laid out here. And let that ink get a little comfortable on there. I mean, it, that stuff dries for the most part pretty fast. And then uh, make sure that you make sure you hit that. Uh, there you go. Been wanting to get rid of these uh, big tubes of paint for the longest time. I have a number of them. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to switch down to these smaller tubes of paint. So now's a good time. All right. All right. What do we got here? That, that Where we need to be? Yeah, where, where we need to be. And I think the ink is 
wet enough where it's it's going to come up a little bit into that wet paint. There we go. All right, what am I going to do with this here? How did I do that? I kind of fuzz that out. So there's a little bit of... hazy overlap going on here with the original. And I kind of like that. So we'll just kind of try to keep... keep the ball rolling there, huh? What day is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday. End of the month. One of those months where you got 31 days, two months in a row. Long month. The pools are closing soon around here. Boy, they're just not open very long, you know, like not even barely three months. Going to remain a little warm and then that'll all fall off here in a few weeks. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I wanted to make this more like a meringue, you know, because I was like, I had such a trouble with last night's painting and then ultimately I just threw on I threw on so much white paint but then I sh I felt well afterwards I felt like I should throw even more on more on I should put even more paint on the on here and this is again this is a synthetic paper spun bonded olefin it can it can take what I can throw at it it's fine It's it's almost like a, a like a smooth canvas, you know, kinda. All right, don't cover them up too much. I want it like a meringue. What's a meringue like? This is almost like a chip dip, you know? Like your French chip dip. You get the little uh, French onion little bits kind of coming through. It's kind of like, it's like chip dip. <laughs> Guys, it's like chip dip. Yeah, I just wanted to make version number two. Oh, this is always the hardest part of it here. Feathering it in. Because, you know, I like to just... I just don't like to get too fussy with it.
again. Meringue. Think meringue. Think you're spreading the chip dip around. I wonder about like uh, other colors, you know? Like I could do. Like I got all this paint down here. I could just do like uh, and I, all these colors I never use like red. How often do I use red paint, right? So you could do like, like just like variations of them. So you do one white and then you do like a different color and red and green. And I think, I think I'm going to like kind of head in that direction. Again, this sort of, is that too, hold on here. Yeah, it's like a, the new one's like a meringue. I wonder if I should scrape off some of it. No, that's what I did on the last one. Yeah, I want this more like a meringue. That was that was the that's 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 what I wanted. That's what I got. Look at that. Fifteen minutes. Sixteen minutes into the video here, and I think I, I think I'm here. Whereas last night, man, it was like 35, 40 minutes, and it was like, oh, I'm going to give up. I'm going to throw it in the trash. And, you know. And then I just, I found it in me. I was like, ah, you know, let's throw a bunch of white on here and to have a whiteout conditions. You know, well, it was just more like, it, was, it wasn't even like whiteout conditions. It was more like, uh, Again, there's like white noise, shoegaze, that sort of thing. I guess I don't know. It's, I don't know how to describe it. Um, and I guess I've always been intrigued by these artists that do like these really kind of minimalistic drawings and paintings. You know, I, I see them on Instagram. A lot of drawings, a lot of black and white drawings. And uh, of like forests and things like that, or people walking through grassy hillsides, and th they're great, love them. But I thought, well, that's, I don't know if that's for me, but here I am kind of doing something kind of, you know, it's like part Andy Warhol with the silk screens, and then part, I don't even know what this is here. I don't even know how to describe this. I think if I did like portraits and stuff like that, I think it, you know, like Alex Katz has those, uh, of course he paints out the, uh, the portrait and everything like that. But I was like, if I get like a print, something like that of a certain size on a page and then kind of have a big area of color. Cause that's, that's what he does. He's not dead yet. He's like 95 years old or whatever, but, um, kind of like to explore that just you know because i'm back into the figure and all that sort of stuff and let's see how this dries here um it'll take all night to dry but uh i'm cool with it i'm cool with it and it's given me lots of ideas and that's that's the good thing you know you get a new printer you know you get a new printer and and you get a new way of working and it's like you're not quite sure where to go. And I, I kind of feel like I've got a lot of different ways I can go, but this is kind of cool. And we'll explore this for a while. So anyway, um, you know, if you haven't already, think about giving the video a thumbs up and think about subscribing to whatever video service you're watching this on. I'm Mark Rushton of Mark Rushton Gallery. I've got links in the description to my weekly email and lots of other stuff. So have a good night, and I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Talk to you later.